Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Entire White House rightfully on edge over horrific pick of Trump on NY Mag cover, saved for right time. Just when you feel the liberal mainstream media in this country can't stoop any lower, they outdo themselves one more time and prove once again how low class they really are and how badly they hate America and us common folk who voted for this president. This time it's once again the New Yorker magazine, which I for one didn't even know was still in print, served up a low blow and completely disrespected our president again. Now let's suspend reality for a second here. What would have happened if a year after his presidency, or even now, a magazine would have released a cover like about Barack Hussein Obama? Can anyone else imagine the outrage it would have caused? Especially since the media told us all from day one that we weren't allowed to mention his middle name or the fact that he has bigger ears than Dumbo? And who will ever forget the man who would dress up as a rodeo clown and wear the mask of whatever president was in office? His job lasted through the Bill Clinton and George W. Bush presidencies. Until the time came to wear an Obama mask. The video went viral, the man lost his job and was never heard of again. The same happened with The Late Show, Jay Leno who is a Republican but was fair when poking fun at whatever president was in office at the time had issues and decided to retire because rumor has it he was told to not touch Obama. In a free society, it's okay to make fun of the president, and this New Yorker cover is no different. But it's the inexplicable double standards what I can't seem to comprehend. Was it his skin color? No, nah, you, that can't be, that would mean the liberal media is racist and we all know they can't be, right? Here is more on the Obama rodeo clown mask incident via USA Today. A clown wearing a President Obama mask appeared at a Missouri State Fair rodeo this weekend and the announcer asked the enthusiastic spectators if they wanted to see Obama run down by a bull. The antics led the state's second highest ranking official, Lt. Gov. Peter Kinder, to denounce the performance in a tweet Sunday. He said it was disrespectful to the president. We are better than this, the Republican tweeted. State fair officials said the show was inappropriate and does not reflect the opinions or standards of the fair. We strive to be a family-friendly event and regret that Saturday's rodeo badly missed that mark, they said in a statement Sunday. It wasn't clear if any action will be taken against the performers. Perry Beam was among the spectators Saturday in Sedalia. He said everybody screamed and just went wild as the announcer talked about having the bull run down the clown with the Obama mask. It was at that point I began to feel a sense of fear. It was that level of enthusiasm, Beam, a 48-year-old musician from Higginsville, said Sunday, referring to the reaction from the crowd that filled the fair's grandstand. He said another clown ran up to the one wearing the Obama mask, pretended to tickle him and played with the lips on the mask. After about 15 minutes into the performance, the masked clown had to leave after a bull got too close, Beam said. Beam was at the rodeo with his wife and a student they were hosting from Taiwan. He said they were having a good time until the end of the rodeo. It was the usual until the very end at bull riding, he said. As they were bringing the bulls into the chute and prepping them, they bring out what looks like a dummy. The announcer says here's our Obama dummy, or our dummy of Obama. They mention the president's name, I don't know, 100 times. It was sickening. Beam said. It was feeling like some kind of clan rally you'd see on TV. Officials with the Missouri Rodeo Cowboy Association, the organization that coordinated the rodeo, did not return phone calls seeking comment Sunday. After Beam and his family returned home, he posted a photo of the clown in the Obama mask on his Facebook page. The photo and the posting were then promoted online by a blog, showmaprogress.com, which elicited a huge response Sunday on Twitter. Scott Holst Spokesman for Missouri's Democratic Governor Jay Nixon, said Sunday in an email that Nixon agrees that the performance was disrespectful and offensive, and does not reflect the values of Missourians or the state fair. Beam, who grew up attending the state fair and attends the fair just about every year, said he has never seen anything like the Obama mask display, which he felt was inappropriate for a state-sanctioned event that receives state funding. This isn't the Republican Missouri State Fair, Beam said. It was cruel. It was disturbing. I'm still sick to my stomach over it, I'm standing here with a mixed-race family. My wife's from Taiwan, and so was the student, his family was hosting. I've never seen anything so blatantly racist in my life. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.